the next presenter today is going to be Adnan uh, or Kiriape. Uh, yeah. Um, usually, what uh, he does the uh, live blogging for Refresh Colombo, but um, anyway, we are going to have something better from him today. So, Adnan, just go ahead, man. Yeah, uh, you started it already. Okay, so before I begin the presentation properly, guys, um, I think I need to dispel a few myths about the presentation itself. First of all, this uh, presentation is not entirely about entrepreneurism, right? Generating business ideas doesn't always have to be about generating a brand new tech startup or anything, right? Even a tech startup, always along the line, they have to keep coming up with their own business ideas to keep pushing the business forward. Whatever business you work with, you're going to need to keep giving ideas to make sure that people recognize you as someone who can lead the company. So this um, presentation is geared towards people who work already, people who are planning on having their own tech startups, as well as people who are doing their final year projects and who would like to do a meaningful final year project, you know, something that after they're done with their university degree, they can take it on so much further. Okay? So about me, um, my name is Adnan Isadeen. I'm not a serial entrepreneur or anything like that. I'm an idea guy. So I'm going to blow my horn a little bit just to tell you about what this presentation is. It's all my experience uh, over the last two years. Where has my experience taken me? This t-shirt, okay? This t-shirt is from a Silicon Valley company, a startup called Hashable, right? They gave it to me in return for the ideas and the feedback that I provided them over the course of just three days. They were so happy with it that they said, told me they're sending me down t-shirts, stickers, right? a whole bunch of swag at home. In addition to that, I worked with a company called Food Spotting. I'd say I'd been in discussions with a company called Food Spotting. Um, Rockmel, some of you may know. A company called Cool Iris that develops live share. In fact, they're in Silicon Valley offices. And not only that, um, they told me that I'm free to come and have a sit down discussion with the uh, product development team, discuss the future iterations. So point is that I'm hoping that if someone can take the value from this presentation actually convert the ideas into doing something, I believe that you can go really far. So let's get started with the actual presentation. How you generate and sell your own tech business ideas. Firstly, generating and selling tech business ideas are not two separate processes. You have to keep both in mind when you are generating a business idea. You can't generate a business idea without thinking about your pitch. Because if you do that, what's going to happen is you're going to come up with a product that most likely people are not going to understand. Why? Because you've generated something that you think is awesome, but you haven't decided how you're going to sell it to people. And when that happens, that's when pe companies need to pivot their ideas. You see that happening quite a bit. Some companies are successful, but hey, if you don't have to pivot your idea, if you can go with your first idea straight off and create a really successful business, isn't that a lot better? On the topic of generating a business idea, there are two things. First of all, you are all human. And being human is what separates you from, well, the rest of nature, that you all can think creatively. A lot of people think that, OK, fine, cool ideas are just something that is you know, for only a select bunch of people. That's not true. Any one of you can generate an idea. The problem is that we've kind of let, let our minds go to waste. We're like the old generator, you know, after a year you go to the storeroom, no start. No start. You finally start it, next day it's easier. That's how your mind is. You have to get into the habit of doing certain activities that wake your mind up. Okay? Again, this is my experience. One of the most essential things that you should be doing is that whatever idea that comes to your head, you have to be discussing it. I know that we have a mentality thinking, no, 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 discussing ideas, someone's going to steal my billion dollar idea, right? Okay, if, if I ask any one of you, you'll, have, you'll each have a billion dollar idea, how many of you are going to be willing to get up and tell everyone else, this is my idea, this is how you're going to do it, and this is how I'm going to make money out of it. How many of you are going to do that? Thanks. Um, that was pretty much what I expected. Here's reality, okay? Just a quick reality check, I'm sorry. I'm, Messing up my own slides. Um, okay, a quick reality check. 
is that I have spoken to over 50 people. They have come up with their own small business ideas. We've taken the ideas, we've hammered it, beaten it, broken it, and fixed it again into something viable. And out of those 50 people, only two people are right now working on those business ideas. And even them, I predict they're going to fizzle out by December. Point is, there's a reason that entrepreneurism is such a highly respected term. It's only a few people who actually can do ideas. So go ahead, discuss your ideas. It's essential that you do this, because if you don't discuss your ideas, what's going to happen is, it's just you and your perspective. I've come up with a brilliant idea. I think it's fantastic. I'm going to finish making it. And when I go into the market, well, then only I'm going to figure out that no one likes it. This is reality. This is reality. You go out, you are developing something with just your perspective. The, take Facebook, over 500 million users. We leave it at 500 million. If it's just you developing, you've left up 499,000 million, whatever, right? I, uh, the math fails me, right? I'm terrible at mental math. It fails, but you get it, right? A uh, common remedy for this that people have is okay, fine, I'll discuss it with three or four of my close friends. Again, a bad idea. You're going to find that over two or three weeks, you suddenly know what they're thinking. And you're developing ideas that suit their perspectives. Wrong. You take your idea out again, you're going to meet another 100 million people who don't agree with your perspective. Get out there, discuss your idea with as many people as possible. Take the criticism as a good thing. When people crush your idea, that's a brilliant thing. Because then you know where to fix it, so no one else can, do, so no one else can crush your idea. You have to observe, constantly observe. How many of you came up with business ideas while you were watching these presentations today? I came up with two. OK? You'll have to be observing, observing, observing. You'll have to observe how companies are solving their own problems, what problems companies have. You'll have to go about in your daily lives constantly thinking. And I know, hey, no insight to Sri Lanka, but I know as Sri Lankans, we are really good at complaining. Okay? We are really good at finding fault with a lot of things. Use that to your advantage. That means there are problems to be solved everywhere we go. Okay? You have to constantly observe where are the problems, where are the problems, where are the problems. And then you have to make your predictions. This is a good way to test your mind. You are constantly making predictions about companies, saying, where is this company going to go? What is Google going to do within the next four months? Right? You have to predict for existing businesses. Right? You have to think, what's the roadmap a company is going to take? Right? If you can predict that, you're already on a good start. You have to predict what new businesses are going to start. If you could predict something like this, um, the daily deals business in Sri Lanka is right now exploding. I know this is again blowing my own horn, but I predicted it two weeks before it exploded. I told my dad that this is a really good thing to be in right now. This thing is going to explode soon. Two weeks later, anything I can launch, a few weeks later, I don't know, I think less than a few weeks later, group can have launched, and then the whole space just exploded. Right? You have to constantly be predicting. And then the most important thing about all of this is that you will be going against the standard grain of thought. Ideas are all about losing the box, are all about losing your constraints. When you start thinking, no offense to anyone out here, I know what happened at last time, Refresh Columbo, okay, no offense, right? If you start thinking, Android, iPhone are the only two big players in the world, Windows Phone 7 has no place, you have constrained yourself. Maybe true. Maybe true, but the moment you agree with it, you're constraining yourself. Ask yourself, what are, what are Android's weaknesses? Does Windows Phone address these weaknesses? What can they do? OK, so fine. So Windows Phone 7 does address these weaknesses. Why aren't they doing better? What's wrong? Then you find holes in their marketing strategy. You find holes in their product itself. And those lead to business ideas. Those lead to what I call, right? and what, what, what all of this does, it makes your mind confident, it makes your mind open, and leads to those aha moments. Right? And here comes the fun part. A lot of people think that the best thing to do is to create a problem. They don't address the existing problems, they create the problems. Um, quick example, final year projects. I've spoken to a lot of people about their final year projects. This is how they come to me. Adnan, yeah, I need a project idea. Uh-huh. Have you thought of anything? Well, I was thinking of doing something in image processing. No, 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 no. Have you thought of? Any idea? Well, image processing is good. Look, image processing is the means of solving a problem. You can't go into the area of image processing and then try to create a problem. You need to find a problem and then see whether image processing can solve it. Right? Let me give you an example, taking the thing of what I said, observation. 
here we go, business ideas. Like I said, this doesn't only have to be tech startups. Um, business ideas. You all go to the supermarket, right? Okay. Um, how much of a problem do you think the queues are in Sri Lanka? Anyone? If you if you have a problem, just raise your hand, right? Really? That's all? Man, what supermarkets do you all go to? Because I want to be going there, right? <laughs> Everywhere I go, I have the same problem, right? How can you solve it? I'll come back to that in a moment. Um, we have a problem with movie piracy. How do you solve that? Right? There's a really simple way to solve it. I'll tell you about it. Um, there are gyms, there are judo classes, there are dancing classes that are starting to open up. And the problem with all of them is that you have to keep going to the class to actually pay the money. Isn't that ridiculous in this age of online payments? Isn't that absolutely ridiculous? Why aren't people um, addressing this? Uh, then let's take his, um, yeah, SL2 college, right? They have an amazing network of people, but wouldn't it be awesome, right? This is such a huge burden on people. They have to be up at 3 a.m. on Skype. Wouldn't it be awesome if there was somehow a better way, an automated system as well to assist them? Here's the high-level topics, right? How do you find a way to solve these problems? 